Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-DA0019 model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can speed up the, uh, your laptop really easy. And people like, oh if I add more RAM is it gonna be faster? It's not gonna be the uh, fastest if you add RAM. The RAM is in there for application, depending how many applications you wanna open or how many tabs you're opening this and that, that's where the RAM comes in effect. But the basic four gig RAM should be enough uh, for the Windows to just boot up this, the Windows and load up your uh, small programs. But the only bottleneck on these laptops is the mechanical hard drive that they will include you. There's a mechanical hard drive in here, so I would recommend you guys to replace it with a solid state drive. It depends a lot of it what kind of solid state drive you want to put you can put a samsung one which are one of the best brands out there and they will last uh, many years the life is time is really a lot or you can go with a low brand which is an a data or kingston they don't have a big life span but any ssd is better than mechanical drive you have in here now when you change your hard drive to an ssd drive you will not have any operating system you will not have any files or data in here all your data, all your files will be in your old hard drive. You can grab your old hard drive and convert it to an external hard drive by adding it to a caddy. I'll leave that caddy information on a, my video description if you need to. You can just purchase the caddy, put your mechanical drive and convert it to an external storage. So what you need to do, back up your files to an external hard drive or do your own backup on the cloud. And then I made a video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive and how to install it on an HP laptop proper way. I'll leave those links here again in my video description if you want to know how to install the Windows. In this video I'm going to go over showing you guys how you can replace the mechanical drive with a solid state drive. Alright, let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop, back up your files as I say. Now you're going to need a few tools. Tool number one will be a screwdriver set. I would recommend you guys to grab an iFixit screwdriver. And from here we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an, uh, tweezers and a few opening tools. But if you don't want to get the Pro set, get the basic set. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. A guitar pick is really suitable to opening cases and covers. The metallic ones are really soft edges. So with these two on hand, on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws in the middle and one right in the front of the laptop. We're going to, the only screw that is different is the one in the front. We're going to remove this one first because this is a little bit shorter than the rest. We're going to put them in one separate pile. Now, we're going to remove the rubber legs in here and at the back, put the guitar pick open to in the bottom. Just scrub it up, bring it up in 45 degree angle. Do not go over, otherwise you're going to crack the rubber. Now, what you want to do, you want to bring it up, there's another adhesive on the other side, you want to put it right beside it, same thing you want to do on the back side. Just grab it, bring it up, and put it to one side. There we have it. Now you're going to see whole exposed screws right there and right here, we're going to start removing all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them, just remove all of them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Alright, once we remove all the screws, now what you need to do is to grab the opening tool. And you want to stick it between the bottom and the top cover right there on the palm rest. And you want to flip it backward and you want to hear a click. That's what you want to hear. Those are the clips that are getting loose. So go ahead and do that to the sides. Go all the way to the back corner. Right by the hinges. Keep doing the same thing you did in the front. To the back corner. The left and on the right side. You want to do the same thing. Once you reach to the back corner on both sides, you want to close it down. Grab it from the front end and wiggle it around and lift it up and it will release itself on the back side. And there we have it. So there's your main battery, your hard drive and your RAM, your CPU. Alright, and in here the hard drive is right over here. There's no screws holding it down. 
with the screwdriver holder down goes from the casing right here so what you want to do you want to lift up from the corner bring it up a little bit just about 5 10 degree like that you want to bring it like that and then you want to pull it outward and it will release itself you want to lift up a little bit so you can release this uh, caddy from this plastic so you want to lift it up a little bit and bring it out there's a little half caddy we call them a caddy is a metal bracket hold the hard drive in place so what we need we need to grab the new ssd make sure the orientation of the sata port and the power is facing the same direction we have to remove the two screws on the caddy one right there and one right here and we have to bring it over to the mechanical drive on the ssd drive or your new hard drive if you want to put a mechanical one you can put it you can put up to two terabyte it's a low profile mechanical drive so you can't put a higher capacity mechanical but it will be really thick and it will not go through here but you can put up to four terabyte ssd solid state drive with no issue so you want to grab it and you want to bring it toward the jack in 510 degree all the way inside the jack make sure it just clicks in nicely and then you want to push it right through this pin and there we have it that's how it stays in place so this was for the demonstration i'm not actually going to do it so i'm going to remove it quickly all right also people always say why don't you remove the battery to do this service you don't need to remove the battery to do this service well as long as you power on there's no power coming to the hard drive or anything to the rams you can remove them upgrade downgrade do whatever you want to do on the hard drive without no problem is i've been doing this over 18 years and never had an issue and no technician does this does this anyway so once you have the hard drive in there mechanical or solid you want to grab the bottom casing you want to put down the io side down first scoop this side under the ports so bring it down in like a 35 45 degree angle and put it down and squeeze it down and let go of the rest and just push down the corner make sure he does click press down the corners and the far back end now you want to open it up and if you want to see a little gap openings you want to pinch them together and you want to hear those clicks all right once we're done with this now all you need to do is to install your operating system on the new drive again those links is in my video description if you want to know how to do it now the last thing down here i'm just gonna uh, put the bottom screws and i'm gonna power on so you guys can see that it's actually turning on so i hear comments people saying that laptop is not working so for those people that they have a trust issue so bear with me right i don't know if there's any power in here so let's plug it in the light is on power is on i'm gonna go to the bios by tapping on escape f10 and there we have it there in the bios so we can see the hard drive the ram everything in here that is working fine and that covers this video if you guys have any questions or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video